hello welcome back to my channel what you will see coming next is a day uh, in my life i think maybe maybe 10 days ago it's kind of a long time ago good morning i just woke up i'm gonna eat some breakfast and then i'm gonna go for a run with my teammate I wouldn't call them lips of the love in my youth, you wanna devour oh, oh, oh. You know it's alright with me, but don't you run away I don't wanna see you crying when two can play the same game You know the two can feel the same way With safe distance, I am filming Ali. Um, oh, I see myself in the reflection. Once we start racing again, me and Ali have figured out how we're gonna run sub two or two all day, every day. <laughs> and we're gonna take Ali under 410. Easy, easy breeze. Actually, she's gonna help me go under 202 because. Hopefully, but I haven't done it yet. Either. <laughs> <laughs> but I know that you can, and I believe in you through. No, I believe in me through you. Yeah. So it me helps. Me too. <laughs> it was really nice to have company for the run today uh, because I slept pretty bad last night. I think I read too much stuff on the news about Corona and it's gonna happen, and it's kind of just like stressed me out. I think because then I started thinking. You know, what if they do everything on lockdown, I can never go home to Sweden and all this stuff. And I just go out on a run and think about something else. So, it was nice. We kept our distance too. I would say I work out every day and then usually every three weeks I get a day off. I work out at least an hour and a half every day. Sometimes I have seven miles as my easy run and that takes it's like 53 minutes. Uh, but then I always have to stretch and roll out and da 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 Är Victor Linnér din bror? The answer is yes. That's my brother. <laughs> Mm, what workouts have helped you the most to become a faster runner? This for me, I would say when we have really long workouts and then you end it with speed and then you're like, wow, I can run that fast when I'm this tired. And I think maybe mentally that's the best workout for me. Do you think being on a vegan diet has helped you in your running career? You are amazing. Thank you. I think it's Brendan Brazier. In his book, he argues that he became vegan because he wanted to find a way to become better as an athlete and he he assumed that okay i'm not gonna be able to train harder than most people he, his thing was he wanted to recover better than other athletes and that's why he turned to a vegan diet it was a book that convinced me that I, it wouldn't hurt me to go vegan so who knows maybe vad är det bästa med löpning enligt dig okay first of all how it makes me feel it makes me feel good and the idea of testing your limits and finding out that you're stronger than you think you were or when things are just flowing, you feel like your mechanics are working well. That feeling is so good. Yeah. Competing and then going to track meets when there's like new athletes to get to know. Uh, and I love the camaraderie of running, like when you work out with your teammates, like going to practice and then warming up with your friends. I'm all about that stuff. Even as a pro, like I don't think that just is high school or when you're young, but that's something to enjoy. What do you think is going to happen with the Olympic Games and do you think you can qualify? 
Wow. I always say, take everything I say with a grain of salt. Because I'm usually wrong when I try to guess things. But, I mean, I hope the Olympics are going to happen this year. If it's safe, it, there's going to be an Olympics at some point. And if I think I can qualify, yes. I, I ran the Olympic standard last year. So I know I can be at that level. Uh, I just need to get selected. So, pick me. When will the Atlanta Track Club Elite start their Olympic hopeful Taekwondo initiative? <laughs> you know, I don't know. It's called Atlanta Track Club and not Atlanta Taekwondo Club. So probably never. <laughs> Hey everyone, I'm sitting here in some Normatec pants, I'm about to start them. Um, every other day or every three days it feels like there's a new restriction uh, and now most of the parks or actually all the parks that I run in Atlanta are closed, I haven't seen my coach in two weeks, I don't get treatment anymore, the gyms are closed and have been for two weeks. And I've been dealing with this in two ways. Some days I'm like, I'm fine, I can do this. I feel very empowered. And then some days I literally just want to cry. <laughs> but I think the hardest part for me during this time is change. I don't, I realize I don't really like change that much, like change it to my routine. I've had a lot of thoughts about going home, if it's better to go there, um, mostly actually training wise, just because. There's soft surface everywhere, I feel like, in Sweden. In Atlanta, it's tough to get a soft surface when all the parks are closed and I don't really run on pavement. I guess my biggest fears are getting injured um, during this time. And I guess someone could argue, well, stop training then. See, I need to train because one, mentally, keep myself sane. Because I love training and that's what I do for a living. And two, I have promised myself I will evolve in some way during this time. I'll not be like in the greatest um, comp competition shape. Obviously, probably not. But I can still be in, in some type of better shape than I was before. Whether that's core or flexibility or mobility. But I'm usually, I think I'm a very positive person. So when I don't feel positive, it bugs me like kind of today I felt like Ugh. but then I called one of my coaches and we talked for a while <laughs> now I just feel like he's my therapist <laughs> but then once I talk it out I feel better then I can be happy again the things that have helped me feel better is the first one is to accept the uncertainty to accept that I have no control of what's about to happen and when I do that everything just calms down for me Number two is that I've been trying to find something weekly to focus on and that helps me stay centered and focused and then I see the future as like a path like oh week by week I you know have these small goals to do so I don't just feel like the future is a big question mark. I can share my goal for this week. It has been to become really good at doing rehab on my ankle because I twisted my ankle. It's been a while, but I'm going to do everything I can to make it better. And then next week, I'm going to evaluate what I did. And then I'm going to create a new routine, how to rehab my ankle. And then my non-running goal is this week I'm going to read more because I love reading. And sometimes I, have, I always have a book, but sometimes I don't touch it. It just lies there waiting for me and I literally don't open it. And I don't even know what I do instead. So I'm going to read. What have you been thinking that helps you? I, I want to know because I, I mean I keep asking everyone this question uh, and for me every, it always helps to talk about things and I probably talk way too much sometimes even this I have to edit it so much because otherwise you guys would be like fall asleep uh, so please share with me what makes you feel better during this time I'm not saying I'm an angel I'm not perfect but try to stay at home because they say if we fly on the curve, it's all this can all end soon. And I hope that you enjoyed my thoughts. Keep pressing. We're all in together. 
I will tell myself that every day and everything will be okay. Okay, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, down below, comment. Bye.